What? <laughs> Dude, those ribs are crazy. What did he do? You're gonna have to make a video. <gasps> like the number for KKTV channel 11. <laughs> Hello, what's up? We are here to watch some more Better Call Saul. I don't know why I said it like that, but we're here to watch some more Better Call Saul. We are on season two. Uh, we just finished off season one last week, so uh, we're in episode one. Switch, where we left off. Jimmy just decided that he wants to go do his own thing. You know? Slippin' Jimmy is back. Yep, because certain thing we talked about this off camera, but I'll bring this up now. One thing that I realized after the fact is that ending makes a bit more sense now on rewatch. Because at the beginning, when I first watched this, I didn't really, I guess I didn't really understand it. But now we're rewatching it. Every, that makes sense because the whole season, season was building to that. Mm -hmm. Like with everybody shooting him down every single chance he did to do something right. Mm -hmm. Like everyone just kind of pushed him back in that direction. Nacho being like, he's, you know, he gave him the, uh, the card or whatever, Peter, uh, lawyer. And he's like, no, I'm not involved in this. He's like, when you realize you're in the game, Mike, when he's like, well, how did you know I was going to spill that on that dude's notepad or whatever? And mm -hmm. he just laughed mm -hmm. and then stuff like that. And then like Chuck and whatnot, every, every time some, they always just confine him back to that spot. So then he's just like, fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> Especially after his uh, buddy Marco died. I trust to rewatch this, this season too, because this is another season where I remember key moments, but I don't remember much of this season either. It's just like season three mm -hmm. and on is where I remember more of where the memory comes into play. Oh, we got Lore of the Ring. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah that ring he wore, wore throughout Breaking Bad. I didn't realize that till after yeah. the fact, but yeah. We got the lore. Bro. And we also got lore where. Um, he was talking to Walter, and he's like, you know, Walter, you can convince yourself of anything. I convinced girls that I was Kevin Costner for the longest time, <laughs> and now in that episode, he convinced the girls he was Kevin uh, Costner. You know, if that was, like, two steps the wrong direction, that would have been so corny. That would have been, like, Star Wars Han Solo movie. Yeah. Just corny references, but it's good. It's been so long now, and it seems... Oh, I forgot to mention. If you want the full length episode, go to Patreon so you get the full True. hour cut this video. Give money. <laughs> Give money, yeah. I still love how he grew the mustache to disguise himself. Yeah. No one will know who I am. <laughs> like those movies who fake the mustache, like they put the mustache on to sneak in somewhere. Mm -hmm. When does this take place? 2008? First season of Breaking Bad took 2008, so this would be 2010, 11. Uh -huh. Maybe 10 or 11. I couldn't imagine living in 2010. And hiding from the police every chance you can. Dude, it would suck. Is this better than prison? Like, you just have to live That's the rest true. of your life, like, yeah, questioning like, everything? YouTube right now is cringe, though. <laughs> I'm not watching YouTube. Wait. Yeah, it, it exists in 2000. Yeah. Yeah, because 2006. Oh. Still better than YouTube. I don't know if he was in the YouTube era, like when it popped off. I think So Good Goodman would have like a major channel. Mm hmm. Hey! Hi! This is an interesting dumpster area. Yeah, I was gonna say it's in a room. Hello. <laughs> we don't work at malls, so if you work at a mall, yeah, please we, we, have, we have no idea what's going on right now. Thing. This is like going in the back rooms. Because how us. does the dumpster come and get it? I think, like, maybe there's a garage door on the other side of the dumpsters, and it kind of, like, comes in, scoops it out of the, and then, I don't know. They, they don't get dumpsters. <laughs> the dumpsters are sentient beings. They, they have to just eat, take one at a time. They, they eat the garbage. I don't even see a garage door. I don't know how this door works. Maybe the dumpster people were pissed, because they made it do so the most complicated way possible. Yeah. No talking. Just... <laughs> no thank you, no nothing. Been here for six hours. Ah, <laughs> Saul Goodman was here. Ring a cameo. Yo, this is like the last episode. It's almost like it is the last episode. Bro, we clicked on the wrong one. Oh, it was just like context of like what happened. John's on, good to see you. Hello, Howard. James Miguel, Clifford, Maine. Just Jimmy. It's a pleasure to meet you. We know all about your work on Sandpiper. Once you get him on your team, you'll know why I call him Charlie Hustle. Can I borrow Ms. Wexler for a moment? If I take this job, does that mean the two of us? I mean, uh, does it mean, uh... What, what, what the hell is this? <laughs> Does that mean that you mean? Is this, is this gonna happen? One thing has absolutely nothing to do with the other. Great. 
Uh, at this time, I'm gonna have to take myself out of the running. What's his name? I, f I forgot it. Howard. Howard. He really does look like a Howard, doesn't he? Yeah. <laughs> you forget his name, then you hear it, you're like, oh yeah, that makes sense. Why didn't we? Oh, they're talking about the... Kettleman's mom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gets in a car accident, dies. It was just that dramatic face he had like, dun, dun, dun. yeah. <laughs> that car sounds like it's gonna break at any second. Yeah. When is he gonna get his new car from Breaking Bad? Cucumber water for customer only. What? What? <laughs> what? There's a loophole around it. Esquire. Ah, oh, new job. Or is this the same job? I think it's for the same guy, that nerdy guy. Hmm. Uh, hey, I need to sell pills <laughs> to the government. I remember you brought this up, but has anyone annoyed you more than Gail yet? No. Because you brought up that you might hate Chuck more than Gail. No, the Kettlemans are really annoying, but oh. Chuck is more in the mood. Me! What? <laughs> Dude, those ribs are crazy! What did he do? Why did he do this? I've never seen ribs like that. Not taking that to the meat. I'll drive my car. This business requires restraint. That is the opposite Dude, of- Dude, this is insane. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen rims that do that. I've never either. I'm not getting in that. Okay, then don't. Honestly, you don't really do anything. These last few deals, this nacho fellow, he's been coming alone. Hey, if he doesn't need backup men, then why do I need you? You do whatever you want, but I'm advising you, do not go to that meet without someone washing your back. Well, of course you're gonna say that. You don't want to be out of this easy peasy job. I'm sorry. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah, of course he's the first to say I, sorry. I hope, I hope we get a scene of him and Nacho, and Nacho just shoots this guy in the head, takes his car. It's like when people call Mario Mario. Mario? Have you ever heard that? Why? Yeah, people call them Mario I've heard Mario. only British people do that. I've heard people in, um, uh, ironically, when we went to New Jersey, there's people that call it Mario. Hey, Mario! Oh my god, he has match shoes. <laughs> I thought that was just Saul for a second. Shoot him in the head. Shoot him in the head. <laughs> he sticks out like head. a sword, though. Shoot him in the head. Shoot him in the head. Shoot him in the head. Oh my god, play us. <laughs> I am not. My <laughs> body... Cannot accept this information being presented. The old guy parted ways, saw things differently. Bro. Oh my god, his matching watch? No. He has the yellow watch band. This is interesting. You like it? Can I take a look? He's stealing it. Let's get in. Aggressive. Get in. Feel the leather. Ugh, don't tell him to get in the car, dude. It doesn't matter if you know him or not. Especially since he was gonna short you the last He's time. He's gonna kill you and steal your vehicle. Oh, his address. He's dead. Factory seal. You're welcome to count. I trust you. God, I just want to slap his bald head. He's gonna get shot in his home. It's an interesting setup. I can never do that. No, dude. What? Oh, that flips over? Yeah. You know, what happens? Not only is all your food gone, it's also wet. It's also in the pool. And you have to clean it up. Yeah. Why is his phone in a bag? Just keep it on you. That's the next level of trust. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is James McGill, but I'm no longer a lawyer. That's right, not a lawyer. So this is what a midlife crisis looks like? Midlife clarity. Clarity. Clearly explain to me why you walked out on the best job opportunity of your life. Get in the pool and I'll tell you. He's not even in the water. <laughs> Everything okay, Mr. Cumston? I'll tell you what, Mr. Cumston. <laughs> Talk, I'll be in the bar. <laughs> Tried so hard not to tip it. What do you mean quit the law? I quit it, simple as that. Is that a misprint right there? It's gotta be, right? Disappear on Yale? Yeah. That's correct, actually. $50 shot of tequila? Is it worth it? Apparently. I can't die without trying a $50 shot of tequila. $50, dude? Having a shot of your well brand, and I'll have a glass of your house ready. Did something happen in Cicero? Why did something have to happen in Cicero? When I talked to you about Davis and Maine, you were ready to take the job. Now you're back and you're suddenly quitting the law? Wearing a weird pinky ring? Asking if we have a future? It's my whole life. My life since Chuck made me come to Albuquerque. Ever since I got it, all I've done is try to make Chuck happy. You quitting the law, isn't that exactly what Chuck wants? Yeah, I was gonna say, Chuck doesn't want you to be a lawyer. So he wins. Yeah, he just won. <laughs> Ugh, Jordan. We've seen that guy, right? I was supposed to ask you the same thing, actually. Is that this is that is that um the one that Walter like says car on fire? Maybe. I'm gonna look that oh, up. Oh yeah. It, it has to be that right? doesn't I was I was thinking the white guy from the last episode, but that guy was too old. Yeah, cause because he was, he was in line in um, that episode, and he kept just talking shit, like, over the phone while he was with oh, a yeah. lady. I wonder if that is him. <sighs> hmm. Maybe. I don't know. I'd have to have him stand up. He was tall. Walk the earth like jewels at the end of Pulp Fiction. I need to watch Pulp Fiction. I need to know the references. Yeah. Because <laughs> I hear references to that movie all the time, and I don't know what it is. It's such a good movie. You are making a mistake. I've been doing the right thing for all these years now, and where has it gotten me? Nowhere. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't get it. 
That's okay. what's right from me. <laughs> what? He wants to scam that guy so bad. I make a million dollar stock trade on my laptop, sit on a toilet. I don't understand people could just do this in public, just talk like that. Yeah, also the... Just shut up. Yeah. Put your phone to your face. That's Bro, natural. my boss, he has these earbuds he'll wear at work, uh -huh. but he'll talk to his friends on Discord while talking to you at the same time while he's on phone call with them. So he, he'll just say random things on to Discord. you. On Discord, that's he, wild. He'll just say random things to you, and then mm -hmm. it's like, huh? It's like, I wasn't talking to you. And then he'll start talking to you again, and you're like, He's like, I'm talking to you. It's like, wait, bro, <laughs> explain to me here. He just start talking to himself sometimes with the phone call. Yeah, he would be sitting on Discord like most of, some of the times on like a whole shift, talking to his D and D friends. I, you know what? We probably shouldn't even. I wouldn't this normally game. do this, right? But we need an expert. This guy sounds like he knows his stuff. When it comes to the stock market, is there like a financial limit to how much a person's allowed to invest? A limit? Knew it. That, oh, even if it's an inheritance, you know, with like inheritance taxes and whatnot. No, same. Uncle on our father's side recently passed, and he. <laughs> Kim's like, what? What is happening? I take calculated but aggressive risks because I want to catch lightning. Practically a money printing machine. Money printing. I think he might be that guy. I think it is. It sounds the same. <laughs> Other side of the family is from South Africa, which is where Uncle Humphrey passed away. Did you call him Uncle Uncle Humpty? Uh, we are sitting here now. Thank you. Hey, I just want you to know. It looks like we're sitting here now, but I would just want to confirm we are sitting here now. Did he even, like, order anything beforehand? Or did he just randomly nope. just... Fuck it. <laughs> Come over here. Talks about his class. Talks about huh? Yeah. Compliments of the bartender. She thought you might want a souvenir. Oh my god, did we drink the entire bottle? No, oh, yeah, we did. Places do that? They just give you the work of a bottle? If it's fancy? I don't know. We should go find <laughs> out. <laughs> Say, granted, I haven't been 21 for that long, so I haven't found let's, this out uh, personally. Let's go to a hotel, <laughs> let's spend all of our money drinking. Go broke. Go for broke. And then die of alcohol <laughs> poisoning, and just see if they give us something. Like the $50 one? What, or whatever yeah. that yeah. fucking chat was? It's been a pleasure. Oops, I got that. I what you do it, son. Wait, what? Can. No problemo. Hey, this will be the best decision you'll ever make. Oh, I believe it. Call me, guys. Bye. Uh, Try and stop us. Just. Wow. Oh, no. Is this right? Yes, sir. It is. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm curious to know how much they actually got out well, of Well, 50. Whatever she had. Oh, and he didn't know it was 50, did he? No. His pool stuff. Yep. Did he stay there? I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think it's been long enough. It's the most little amount of toothpaste I've ever seen. Yeah, so I was gonna say, that's so. Is that the normal amount? No, no, I, I just put I poured all over that bitch. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta get all of it. I thought it was just like a stream. Oh. <laughs> oh I'm fine with that. Yeah, me too. Innovation. Dude, I flashed one. Huh. You good? Yeah, all good. Wait, did he report him? Did Nacho just report him? I assume this is his house. I assume that's the. Yep. <laughs> I assumed that was the storyline that was going on. This is crazy. I don't think I would do that, even as a joke. Leia. I would lease it at least, or rent it for a t couple days. <laughs> oh, so he called the police. Oh, what's all gone? I have, I had a baseball card collection. All stolen. How'd they get in? Back door over here. Uh, I, I just saw the watch. You know what makes it worse? Because not just that he rips off people who they can't run to the police. <laughs> <laughs> Let's focus on what's important here. Because this story is sounding crazy. Yeah. Wait, he did mention the cash, didn't he? I don't think he mentioned it. I assume more baseball cards. Hmm. Well, one of them, I think one of them said how much cash. Just trying to make sense of it. What's to make sense of? I mean, isn't it as simple as the perp was looking for more baseball cards? <laughs> <laughs> more baseball cards. Pretty sweet Hummer parked in the driveway. Are yours? Yeah, that's mine. Uh, it's Elise. You know, they say Arnold Schwarzenegger is a reason that Hummers exist. What? Is that what? <laughs> Where do you do, Mr. Wormel? Uh, I work IT for a pharmaceutical company. Wow. He knows he's getting caught. You're so stupid. Because everything's not adding up here. <laughs> yeah. Get this list out to... For some reason, I... I, I exp in that shot of the, the profile, yeah. I just expected them to just, like, tackle him. <laughs> Throw him through the wall. If they tackled him, that didn't fly so yeah. quick. There's something wrong with this picture. <sighs> He's been caught. Wait, did Nacho leave it there purposely? Like that? Yeah. That's a good question. Probably. Yeah. He's like, how do I get the cops to know? 
Because hmm. especially if like he's going to call the cops, like what kind of case does he even have here? It's me. Another perfect day in paradise out here. Just, it just reminds me of the memes of my unemployed friend, what he does. In hmm. <laughs> How do I scam these people? Marco, talk to me. You know, he's like, come to me. Marco, where are you? E, Mark. Thurston Howell III. If he... Oh, he's 100% a pimp. Mm -hmm. I'm at the watering hole and I'm watching the fattest, slowest water buffalo expose his neck to me and I'm the lioness ready to strike. I said lioness because it's the females who do all the hunting. What? Really? I don't believe you. The lioness? Women don't hunt. <laughs> do the female lions do the hunting? In a pride, the females do most of the hunting. Oh, really? Woke. I actually, I did. Woke lions. <laughs> Dude, Disney would be all over that. That's crazy. Disney was wrong. Someone would read that and say woke, unironically. <laughs> Call evolution in the animal kingdom woke. That's existed longer than we have. I could see the critical drinker doing that. <laughs> <laughs> now they're making. I can't even do a Scottish accent. I'm not even going to try. Either that or Ben Shapiro. Like... No, Ben Shapiro would 100% be more up. Do it. What call just happened? I think we missed everything. Oh, is he going to the job again? I think he accepted it. Oh yeah, he did say for now. Jimmy's finally getting what he wanted. Mm -hmm. I like how it's only been one episode and we're already back. Saying we're back after just saying like five minutes ago, <laughs> the it's so over. urge to say we're back 20 minutes after saying it's over. There are a few options on the company cars. This is a crazy office. Especially that thing. That That's is so crazy. Bad. I'd look at that for six hours. <laughs> yeah, that picture is crazy. He's floating. He doesn't even exist. No. I want that. Have it all right there. <laughs> yep. The just whole painting just covering my entire wall. This is uh, interesting. This isn't to your taste. We have a collection of art in house. You can uh, choose from. This place is crazy. Collection of art. Look. This place looks like a Jedi temple set it, it in really Mexico. It really does. Like that wall design and everything. I feel like this was a church cult thing before it turned into a lawyer's office. No, yeah, 100%. Like this is where they had Sunday school. I, More <laughs> art? What's that? It's just it's just a train car. Oh, it's just a train car. Oh, a boxcar children reference. Did we get a choice of desks? Is it possible? Um, can we do a Coco Bolo? Coco Bolo desk? Absolutely. I'll get right on that. I'm now searching a new thing. Let's see what the hell a Coco Bolo desk is. Coco Bolo desk. I'm assuming it's a brand. Ah, oh, Better Call Saul. Spoilers for his desk, bro. <laughs> oh my god. No, I can't see the picture mm. of the desk. I want to see what happens. He's so going to do it. He's like... <sighs> Sets off like an explosion. They all come in. That was a test and you failed. Everyone's computer shut off out there. Like, what's going on? He turned off, like, the life support for some random elderly man. No, it's like a random person, like, around New Mexico. Like, that that switch is connected to every single switch. hospital. That's what the episode's called. Switch! Yo! <laughs> like, so, like, the switch. I guess there was a lot of switches in this episode. Good season premiere. With the him putting uh, Saul Goodman was here. Got locked, and he had that debate of, like, you know, if, um... He wanted to actually put that switch off to go call an alarm, which, you know, that's what I just bring up the question of, like, is it worth just to be caught so you don't have to worry about this? Or is it worth being worried the rest of your life, not mm -hmm. being able to really have any friends or anything? You just kind of just live and hope you just don't get caught. Yeah. Especially, like, you know, he had that whole, this whole turnaround throughout the whole uh, episode where he wanted to quit being a lawyer, but... He, was, he became the unemployed friend for a little bit. Yeah. And then decided to go with Davis and Maine to become a lawyer. I, the one thing he always wanted. Yep. Um, the whole s scam be for that uh, the douchebag, I guess, lawyer? Would that what he be? Who? Uh, the stockbroker? Oh, stockbroker. Yeah. Uh, I thought, that, yeah, that was a whole funny scheme. Yeah. I love seeing those schemes play out. Mm. Um, I, it's crazy to me how quick he comes up with them of how yeah. to scam people. Um, and then even we <laughs> the Hummer dude. <laughs> with this crazy this guy rims. is insane i didn't even know rims worked like that i didn't know either this is crazy this whole image right now is crazy I'm taking a picture of this yeah. it made it even worse that he got the shoes and watch to match it pov you'd be like where the hose at he's trying to be so non-discreet about yeah. it then like even mike said not to go do it i'd like how he's like you didn't do anything about this process uh-huh and i was caught by the cops because yep. you know he lured him there imagine with them looking under the uh couch to see that area they knew that 
the money he probably his money was probably stolen it's like dude you're gonna have that whole story by like you know no it's just the baseball cards they stole baseball cards mm -hmm. nothing else no we don't need to focus on anything else besides the baseball cards and they knew he was full of shit he's just too incompetent to see that even like when all that stuff was moved to go by the couch like the cops even knew that's what the cops are asking like they're gonna ask you questions like yeah certain things are gonna add up you have this nice car but you're living in this kind of house mm -hmm. You know, you're telling me he only came for baseball cards, nothing else. All the technology stuff is there. The computer, the TV are still there, mm -hmm. but the baseball cards are missing. I wonder if he's going to be the big lawyer piece that Jimmy has to deal with. Nacho? Or him? Him. Him? That would be interesting. Because, um... Because he knows Mike, and Mike's probably going to be like, Jimmy, can you fucking deal with this guy? I wonder how that would work, because technically there's they didn't see any money. I don't know how that would Oh, work. they have no proof. They just have suspicions right yeah. now. Yeah. So that's why I was wondering how they how they would make that work if they, they didn't see any money. And obviously there's a spot open, but... Oh, we're into the episode. Oh, I guess we'll just, we'll just let it play. All right. Yes. Yep. Yeah, where did uh, we combine these two? Sure. You. He <laughs> plays piano. Gross. <laughs> Piano. <laughs> oh, he's about to go kill whoever's at the door. Doesn't that give off an electrical pulse? The tick. I don't Doesn't know. that? I, would, I don't know how to work. Let me get that for you. Oh, I thought Howard just did this. <laughs> he just leaned back with these, like, no. <laughs> My food. I'm thinking of maybe coming in for an hour or two next week uh, if you feel comfortable figure out a day and get ernesto to give you a heads up he'll figure out a day like he has anything going on besides being yeah. in this dim ass house yeah we'll see if it works my schedule when uh, heard from jimmy i've talked to him uh oh i have some news he's working at davis and me doing what <laughs> yeah working as an attorney <laughs> He's about to cry. Mm -hmm. They're aware of his background, Davis in Maine, his education. In the spirit of full disclosure, Cliff did talk to me beforehand. Tried to paint a complete picture, but I didn't stand in the way. Partner track? Yeah. Charlie Hustle. Yep. Right? Yep. <laughs> yep. This is the most awkward conversation ever. <laughs> it's like, shut the fuck up, Howard. Because Howard's like, I know you don't like him. <laughs> Just say it. Yeah. This plays piano in frustration. <laughs> 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 What, bro? <laughs> Looks like he pissed off himself. He just staring at it. Uh -huh. <laughs> I say lawyer. It says lawyer up. Ooh, pastries. Huh? Uh. Today, the following documents have been requested from Sandpiper as part of our initial discovery petition. One, resident lease agreements, past and present, invoices, and transaction documents from all supply companies used by Sandpiper. <laughs> He don't write. He don't got time for that. Records of residents, social security check receipts. Seven resident <laughs> invoices, non-related to... They're so horny. <laughs> <laughs> no, they said they do what Skylar and um, Walter did where they just fucked in the school parking lot. <laughs> he was feeling her up in that episode. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, we just did this at that level. Maybe I should leave HHM and get on that cushy d &M train. It is very cushy. Jimmy, I'm so happy for you. I'm even thinking of looking my own place to buy. I definitely want some decent acreage. Man, that would be so amazing. Too expensive. Oh, we should get one of those smokers. We could just barbecue for days. Yeah, we definitely gotta get a smoker. I gotta go to the salon I'm delivering my new company car. Oh, are you serious? Jeeves, where's my solid gold blimp? No, not that one, the other one. Jealous. I was gonna say, do you see the car that he's running with right now? I mean, the comparison here. Yeah. Oh, such a beautiful wrapping job, it's a shame to open it. It's a gift, be grateful. <laughs> Just keeping it real. <laughs> second is still very, very good. Give a second place trophy. See you tonight? Maybe, if you play your cards right. Tough goodbye. But he put the cup in that car. Is it gone? That'd be really funny. I'm gonna believe- no, no, he does. he has it. He just I left gonna, it. I was there. gonna say. Oh my god. It's got all- Damn, Jane. Hey, goodbye hug. <laughs> no? Alright, well, forego the tears and just say, till we meet again. She's oh. like, thank god. I wonder how he talked himself into even getting that spot in the back. <sighs> Has a vent up there too? Crazy. Oh, it doesn't fit. Yeah. 
We got a POV of what it's like to get that cup shoved in his face. POV, you're the cup holder. <laughs> Police get out for free? No stickers. Corruption. Is he gonna show up in the Hummer? Oh my god, of course he is. Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> Can't even reach it. Hey! Don't say hey. What are you doing here? I work here. Why don't you pull around over there? We'll have a little talk. First thought he had stickers on the side of it. I was like, oh, great. Why are you here? I have business with the police. I was robbed. Somebody broke into my house and stole my property. Drugs. Well, yeah, but I didn't tell the cops that. Not stupid. Oh, they stole the drugs. Your uh baseball cards. <laughs> Mike's like... You have no idea how deep you are. A bad idea that you willingly talk to the police, being a criminal and all. Yeah. I'm here as a crime victim. Oh my. And I was very careful when I talked to them. I mean... No, you weren't. They've invited you on a fishing trip. Those cops have no interest in helping you get your cards back. Yo. You're obviously under suspicion. And this blinking neon sign of a vehicle that says drug dealer. They will get you in there, pretend to be your friend, lull you into a false sense of security, and then they will sweat you. You will break. I disagree. What about my baseball cards? Cost of doing business. No! No, 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 no! <laughs> this was not how it was supposed to go! Just play that clip while I'm yelling. He reminds me of him. Dude. No, he thinks he's Riddler, but he's just a Redditor. He thinks he's him. Bro thinks he's him, bro. I'm getting him back. No, you're not. I imagine what Mike just said he's gonna do is gonna happen. I'll find you cards. Is that something you do? That is so generous of you. Oh, it'll cost you. <laughs> oh, okay. Um... If he's like, give me the Hummer. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that would be so funny. It's gonna cost you one Hummer that I take <laughs> to the dumpster. Burn it. It's a crazy office. Like, even the roof. Look at that. Yeah. Again, Jedi Temple. It, it, it really is. Someone's actually playing that they are. White people. It's boss, man. Hmm. Decided there were easier ways to get girls. By scamming them out of money. <laughs> <and> <laughs> acting like celebrities. It's a number of residents' contracts. Not a single one has opted out, which makes me think it's more of a mandatory financial arrangement. You might be onto something here. I was always nervous. I thought he was going to be like, maybe. Mm-hmm. Hola. Hola. You do cars. See, cars. Why does Nacho work here? <laughs> He's like, hey, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. How does he, okay, number one, how does he know? Well, I could see how he knows. But why? Why he works there? Yeah. That's his dad. Ah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Get a new car. Yeah. He said it's so pissed. Classic car. Mm hmm. He's so mad. What material do you want? Maybe alligator. He's freaking out. He's like, where are they? Jeeper might be better. Oh my god. My son, he, he will help you, okay? <laughs> Why are you here? Baseball card, but you underestimated just how big an idiot you were dealing with. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm pretty aware. You called the police and reported them stolen. Now they're nosing around. That sounds like a you problem. No, I think it's very much an us problem. Yeah, I guess I'll just have to take my chances, but good luck to you. But I think what we have here now is a carrot and stick situation. This is stick? You coming here threatening my family? I'm not here to threaten your family. And the name of the stick is Tuco Salamanca. You don't play ball, so to speak, and Tuco finds out about your little side business. Got a big enough stick? Yeah. You give me back the baseball cards, 10000 in cash, and you net roughly 60000 No. Exactly does that work? I'm stealing the Hummer. <laughs> What's this epic music for? Oh, is he back on the piano? It's like all violins. Is it? There's violins in there. Oh, he's dying. <laughs> oh, I thought that was Jimmy. Whoops. Wrong McGill. He wears that the space blanket under it. It reminds me of those guys who used to put like a bunch of clothes on to make themselves look bigger. <laughs> it reminds me of. And I would get her washed at least once a week. She deserves the best. Oh my god. I'll make sure the boys at the chop shop are real gentle with her. Wait, why? You think I'd be caught dead driving that thing? Looks like a school bus for six year old pimps. Alright. <laughs> Yeah, the Hummer looks like this one I have a Mashbox car of. Mm -hmm. Dude, I go to store the storage unit right now. I find one of those. Aaron. Hey, there's Jeter. Mike's like, oh my god. Now our business is concluded. I genuinely thought he was gonna punch him. Same. As soon as it cut back to him, I thought it was just gonna shoot him in the head. I was like, ah, yes, finally. 
I thought he was about to do donuts on him. Like a last minute get fucked. Yeah. Really? Oh, that's your ringtone. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course it's, that's his ringtone. So sorry to interrupt. Oh, this one lady. Uh, oh. Keeps all of her paperwork in. Um, she keeps it. I'm sorry, excuse me, Jimmy. I'm gonna need everybody's phone, key fobs, and electronics. Oh, uh, yeah. That's the day he chooses to come in. Uh, I wouldn't be able to handle myself in this room. You want me to talk about lawyer stuff? No. You've got whatever pastries those are called just on the table. They have Mr. I'm allergic to electricity coming in. Chuck, welcome. That's awkward. Oh, is homie just sitting? Sorry for the interruption. Dan, I'm not here. Oh, yeah. Why are you here, bro? It's just like take your kid to work day when the kid's just like sitting in the corner of the room. How like when uh, teachers, the principal comes in, they have to do the watching thing. Yeah. <laughs> Pretend I'm not here. Yeah, documents from some of the clients. We definitely have some pack rats. God bless them. We've got copies of this woman's monthly statements going back to March 1997. Might be a little labor intensive, but our clients will always be our best resource. Plus, they have ribbon candy. <laughs> Man, so mad. What are you doing here? I got you fired. What's his office? Is, this, is his office empty? Does he have one? Howard? Uh, no, Chuck. Yeah, I wonder what his yeah. office is now. To bear witness. What do you mean by that? He's died. <laughs> you, see ah! how, you see how scared he got? <laughs> you still morally flexible? If so, I might have a job for you. Oh. Where and when? Morally flexible? That's a really funny way to put it. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, he actually is. <laughs> I didn't think they actually did this. Because when you asked, I was like, I, I, I couldn't remember. Hope you get your property for you. Don't just say you have them. Oh my god, I feel like he's gonna say he got them back. They're on them, yeah. Wow. Ty Cobb. Ty Cobb? Yo, hey, whoa. It's no longer an issue. I found them. I hired a private investigator and he tracked them down. <laughs> Jimmy's like, oh God. Yeah, he's just, ah, oh, fuck. Like murderers and robbers and gangs. And I mean, you were wrong. You can have some coffee. I'll finish up with the Oh, thank God. Yeah. <laughs> thank God he stepped I in. I can't <laughs> stand his voice. Okay, let's get down to brass tacks here. A hiding place in the baseboard. Gonna make anyone suspicious, but let me assure you, nothing illegal going on here. Drug dealer, maybe? No. No. Him? No. Nah. <laughs> I wish he would have said something like, well, take a look at him. Yeah. Really? My client has an arrangement with a wealthy gentleman for whom <clears throat> Mr. Wormald provides art, like what, painting? More like digital media. He sells NFTs. Private videos of an artistic porn. It's gonna be porn. They were videos intended to titillate senses. <laughs> porn. Not, no. Not that aggressive. <laughs> Fetish videos, but. Yeah. <laughs> That's worse. There's like femboys, weird shit. Fully clothed, Mr. Wormall, by himself. Doing what? Yeah, come on, man, what? Oh, guys, he's, he's a furry. Squat cobbler. It's a Squat cobbler. Squat cobbler. You know what squat cobbler is. No, I don't I don't know what a squat cobbler is. No, me neither. What is it? <laughs> Shitting himself? <laughs> when a man sits in pie. He sits in a pie. And he He wiggles around. Technically he does a crybaby squat, so there's tears, which makes it more specialized. Not all high sitters cry. He's like, yeah, dude, his OnlyFans is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> and there is a costume involved. You got to be shitting this. Yeah, like I would make this up. But trust me on this, you don't want to see it. They bought it. Yeah. <laughs> you want to see the evidence? One little tiny hanging chad. You're going to have to make a video. Oh, <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> oh he's actually going to have to do it. That's insane. He eats the pies or just sits in them? Oh, and they got one too. Oh, Steeler's choice. How the hell did you come up with that? If you gave me a million years, I still would not have come up with that. I think it was the video that clinched. Wait, you, you actually made a video? I would say in the end, old Dan really committed. Are you still able to eat that after just watching him do that? Insane. I bet she's about to lose her appetite. Touched by human buttocks. Fabricated evidence? Not exactly evidence. You used it to exonerate a client. You used falsified evidence to exonerate a client. It wasn't a Davidson main client. Off the clock, it was uh, totally my own thing. Why? Why? Why would you risk the best job you ever had for some pro bono case? I was doing a favor for a friend. Risking disbarment? That's some friend. I didn't see you complaining when uh, Ken the douchebag paid our bar bill the other night. <gasps> yeah, I was about to say. Fabricating evidence. Jimmy, this could really hurt you. If you get caught. It, it, they're never gonna find out. Seriously, you sound like every dumb criminal out there. You will find out. What is the point? I cannot hear about this sort of thing ever again, okay? You won't. 
<laughs> yeah, that's gonna be an awkward night. <laughs> yeah. We'll get a conversation even after that. Oh god, that's why it was called cobbler. That's <laughs> so gross. Hello? Oh, is Netflix having a stroke? I think it is. No, it's a no, cobbler. Interesting. We got the the thing I said came true. Him actually oh, luring uh, for him. Luring for him. Yeah. That's funny that they had he had to come up with that whole story about the fetish. I didn't realize they were gonna actually need evidence. That's crazy mm-hmm. that he actually was gonna have to go do that. <laughs> yeah, that was the craziest line at the end. It was like one tanging chat. You gotta make a video. <laughs> what were the cops like? Like Yes, we must see this video. That's insane. I wonder if that's what they had to say. Uh-huh. At least they didn't make him strip naked. Yeah. <laughs> that was going to be like somebody had to like wear like cat ears or something like that. Or mm-hmm. <laughs> wear a tail. <laughs> or wear a fox suit. Yeah. Or like anime role play. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, when I said digital media, I thought it was he was he like made hentai or anime porn. That's what I thought. Now that Jimmy's more getting more involved as like a lawyer, Chuck is hating it even more. Like uh-huh. even having a step yeah. in to go into these meetings. Yep. Like the principal back into the class. Pretend I'm not here. <sighs> Teach like I wasn't here. I hate that. Hey, it's even funny. He got scared of the phone ringing. So oh God. Yeah. All right. I need, <laughs> I need yeah. to peace out. It was even like a good scene where like him and Howard were going back and forth, and like Chuck just wouldn't admit it. Just say you don't want him to do it. It was even a funnier too when Mike was a liability and he knew he needed to fix his whole cards situation. Because uh-huh. he would instantly give Mike away. But even finding Nacho, we got to his dad, where he actually works and stuff like that. as like a side, like, you know, a front or whatever. Yeah, I didn't realize that Tuco didn't know about the hat, the whole little side business he does, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, now he gave the Hummer away. Yeah. I like how he was getting like, you're going to get rid of it? Why? It's just, like, logic with him. <sighs> yeah. I wonder if he's related to the Kettleman's. <laughs> yeah. Because it makes sense. You know, it gets passed down in a family. Just mm-hmm. logic. Whew. Yeah. Right over the head. Episode three, Armarillo. Armarillo? Is that Armadillo? Is that how Armadillo spell? No. That's Amariolo. Amari- a- Amarillo. <laughs> Amarillo. Am- Am- Amari- Am- Mario. Mario. <laughs> That's where we're going to episode. It. Episode Mario. Full cut in link in the description. My Schneider cuts in the link in the description. My Schneider cut. <laughs> it's on my Patreon. <laughs> so if you want to see the Schneider cut, it's down there. That's what basically this is. Mm-hmm. We got the highlights on YouTube, and you get the full c- director's cut. Why is he a cowboy? Did we skip something? Why are we in Texas? <laughs> oh, he's going to Sandpiper Cross. Ah. Uh, I love how he wears the same suit when he goes there every time. We're about to hit it, folks. Don't be long. You got five minutes. Oh, okay. Howdy, folks. How do we get rid of this? Get off play button. Gone. My name's Jimmy. I tried to visit you at Sandpiper, but they wouldn't allow me to. So your bus broken down. Here you are. Lucky me. Now, Alma May, do you recall responding to a mailer from my law firm, Davis and Maine of Santa Fe, New Mexico? We were looking to help any Sandpiper residents who may have been overcharged. Was it yellow? It's canary yellow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Calm down there, mister. Took anybody's money, uh, exactly. I want you to put that mental image right out of your head. But he's planting it in their head. Do you have a nephew? Yes, Steve. Is he a good guy? No. No, he's all horrible. Cooks meth. <laughs> the guy. Here comes the check. 24 bucks for a side of buttermilk biscuits? That doesn't sound right now, does it? Sounds like something got added up wrong. Naturally, you send your nephew Steve to talk to the manager, and naturally, the manager corrects the mistake. Well, same kind of thing is what happened at Sandpiper Crossing. Nothing makes me sad. People like my own Nana and Bobo. And Bobo. <laughs> the hell's a bobo? The good people at Sandpiper want to make this right. Well, sometimes it's just easier if you get your nephew Steve to go take care of it for you. Call your lawyer. Make them die. Hire assassins. Hey there, Georgie girl. Thank you. Oh, it's all there. Everything I need. Thank you, Henry. All right. Beautiful penmanship. A lost art. A lost art. Beautiful penmanship. Oh, man, we lack that nowadays. Ugh. It's a magistrate judge. I just had deja vu. I'm going to save you from having to brag. Over 200 new Sandpiper clients signed over the past three weeks. Well done, Jim. Uh, right now, we're in the process of mapping out the entire Southwest. My goal, another 200 by the end of the month. Oh my God, fucking Chuck. Yeah. Dude, he's... <laughs> he's so mad. He's just mean I am the whole time. Really astonishing results, Jimmy. Incredible. How many people out there actually responded to our direct mailer? One. You got 24 new clients 
from this one response? The opposing counsel, for example. See this differential and conclude that there may have been some solicitation involved. I did not solicit. I'm just wondering how you account for your success, because it will definitely raise eyebrows over a Schweikert and Coakley. What's the definition of solicitation? I need a legal definition. The act of asking or trying to obtain something from someone. The act of costing... Oh god, it took me to another website. Accosting someone and offering one's uh, or someone else's services as a prostitute. That's not. <laughs> That's crazy. We got off, we got off course real quick That's with this. Makes sense. Howard? Chuck? Is he pouting? Price of excellence is eternal vigilance. Indeed. Shut up. I can't wait for that guy to die. I don't know if he dies. I just assume he dies. Shot in the head. What I'm proposing is that we create a small team and. Oh. Yeah, still mad. I take Chuck's point, I do. Can't even be a hint of solicitation. So I'm gonna pull back, find another way to proceed. You know, client outreach is your department. I'm in deposition. I've got an extra need him in, Jimmy. You can have one of mine. Shoot, where'd I put that? Thanks, that's... <laughs> Walks away. You didn't do a song and dance in the day room for the old timers? No. Not, not in the day room. Jimmy, you know solicitation can get you disbarred. This matter. You said in there you'd find another way. Did you mean it? Sure. The most bullshitter. Yeah, <laughs> sober. Yeah, some way. You know I believe in you, but then I made my beliefs known to them. And now everything you do reflects back on me. It's my word, it's my judgment. You and I both know you can do this job. He just can't help himself, though. You wanna make sure you put in the batteries the right way. Then you close them up. I think you're good to go, young lady. <laughs> this is such a weird toy. She just does this. I'd be throwing that thing. Where's the dog? Maybe I'll back? They could have took it back. That was my only problem, it was like, Mike, you know she's having fi financial troubles. Why did you give her a dog? Yo, that looks good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there was three of them. They were quick. Pop, 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 closer. It was like they were right outside the house. I'm staying here tonight. No, Mike, no, that's not no, necessary. It is not a problem. I'll take the couch. Mike, please don't make me sorry I told you. Is he gonna have to go do the Jimmy way again? We should be getting responses of like 12 to 15%, but we're getting ones and twos. In Colorado Springs, zero. I'm thinking it's the staff. They're tossing the mailers before they can reach the resident, which would be actionable as hell. If we could prove it, big if. Guess you better think of another way. I think I got it. TV commercial. Hmm. <laughs> Better call Saul. He just goes off on Sam Piper. Yeah. Yo, fuck Sam Piper. We ran a commercial a few years back, another class action case. That's not exactly my go-to, but generally speaking, I'm open to it. We will talk next week. Dude, those people go crazy on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Fucking put your shit all the way up. Dude, because you get those annoying ass ads all the time. I bought YouTube Premium. Dude, they've been having this stupid thing where it's like, the government's stealing money from you. What? I yeah, this yeah, it's horrible. I get that ad every fucking day. If you or a family member have been diagnosed with mesothelioma, oh my god, this is so nostalgic. This, this whole... is this is the guy from Ancient Aliens. Oh my god, Ancient <laughs> Alien theorists suggest that's him. <laughs> that's really funny. That's so funny. Remember, they worked real hard to get that just right. Get yeah, what just right? Uh, the the swirl. They wanted kind of nebulous, but not too nebulous then there was the issue of the speed it's kind of like you know those tornado warnings you get mm -hmm. it's like that <sighs> cliff signed off on this the partners were very happy whatever happened to showmanship the alpine shepherd boy it's for her nephew i didn't realize that they, they were coming back to her that's cool we open on granny and she is rocking and then pretty slowly and smoothly the camera uh moves towards her dolly a dolly I gotta ask dude dolly's extra it's true. Oh my god. We will improvise then. So that's it? Old lady in the chair? Sure, commercial. Does anybody like you? <laughs> I'm ready for my close-up, Mr. McGill. I love how he always gets his, he gets his own. Is it the cheese sandwich or whatever it mm. was? It's just a guy who's like, I'm shooting to keep the rent down. <laughs> it's a landlord. Yeah. What? Paper guy. It's that loud? I was saying, this man's about to pass out. Mm -hmm. Hey, honey, what's happening? What happened? Let me show you. It's right up there. Which time did you hear the shots? 2.13 this morning. I looked at the clock. What? You think maybe it's possible that you dreamed it? I didn't dream it, Mike. Because I didn't sleep a wink last night. I mean, he was there all night, so neither did he. He was here and you weren't. I wonder what's happening. 
Who was it who first said, hey, I know, big bowl of balls. Real. <laughs> it affects. Oh, is he about to play this commercial? Ready for this? Here goes. He's got the horses in the back with the artwork. <laughs> Dude, I tell you, people in their horse paintings. Mm -hmm. Old people love their horse paintings. Mm -hmm. Commercial. My husband and I scrimped and saved for so many years. After Ronald passed, I moved to an assisted living facility. Then one day they said all my money was gone. Where did it all go? <laughs> you made that? Some film students? I directed. <laughs> Don't give him the credit. <laughs> Showing your mom the thing you made. <laughs> I'd be dialing. I can't believe Davis and Maine went for it. Well, no, don't take the wine away. What are you doing? Still, you know, Cliff Maine was fine with this. Say who stole my eggs? Yeah, who stole my <laughs> nest eggs? I like the number for KKTV Channel 11. <laughs> Cut off for FedEx. I need to get a package out. Too sweet. Can you connect me to your ad sales department? He's not even gonna go over with them. So, ladies and fine fettle. What do you got for me? Bodyguard job, 100 bucks. Win next level pay. You gotta do next level work. Call you with the wear and the win. See how lucky he gave him when he tapped him on the shoulder? Yep. God. Why would you not talk to him? It's crazy that that's in a lawyer's office. That does not look like a piece that would be in a lawyer's office. What do you think it means? Every line starting with 7700 has been rerouted to the bullpen. Oh, so <clears throat> should be running now, right? I'm surprised everyone's okay with this. Well, I guess the assistants don't necessarily go to uh, higher ups. Yeah. Or unless they think <laughs> they think it's okay. You gotta bring out your magic thing again. Yeah. Do it. Oh, there. <laughs> It's working, but what about uppers not knowing about this? Oh, it's filling up. I mean, it's working. Oh, I was wondering, I was like, what's that? Dinosaur lights. I need to get me some of those. Yeah, those look fire. Sorry, wife, these stay on. <laughs> Something came in this evening, and it's definitely next level pay. Yeah. It's serious money. And the guy, he specifically asked for you. And who's the guy? Nacho. Nothing, we're going down and fast. Nah, good man, Kim. <laughs> Serious money job. Yeah. We're gonna kill Davis and Maine and then I'm gonna run it. What is this weird fascination you have with stories of men trapped on the North Pole? Ice Station Zebra is on the North Pole. The thing takes place on the South Pole. The thing is also a really good movie. What is it? You haven't seen it? This? Whatever they're watching? That's not the thing. Oh, I never seen the thing though. I know it's made by John Carpenter. I heard it's really good. Probably one of the best horror movies I've ever seen. I've heard. It, I've no, heard it might be the just best. the best. I know nothing about the movie. <sighs> Dude. I gotta watch it. That's insane. Man, a commercial. You ran a commercial without ever showing it to me, without first consulting me and my partners. Did you actually think that was gonna fly? You did tell me client outreach was my department. Don't be disingenuous. This commercial, I take it my firm's name is mentioned? Yes. Howard said you were a little eccentric. You didn't tell me you were a goddamn arsonist. Positive headline here. We got 103 phone calls today. Tomorrow morning, 8 o'clock, my office, with the partners, and we want to see this thing. Cliff, when you see this... I know. I mean, what did he expect mm -hmm. was going to happen? Yeah, but also, why are you mad? Maybe he's just worried that he would do it again or something like that. I think it's okay to just run shit. Golden boy. Yeah. <laughs> what movie is this? I have no idea. What is this place? Looks like we're Jesse Cooked in season five. It, it does, actually, yeah. Feeling cautious? You gonna tell me what we're doing here? I've got a problem. This problem. Is it a who or a what? There's a guy. I need him to go away. Oh, I didn't realize that ended it there. I'm excited for next episode. I really like next episode. That's one of the episodes I do remember. Thoughts on, I can't remember the name. Oh, the name we couldn't pronounce. Mario. Mario, yeah. Thoughts on Mario. Oh, <laughs> good. I gotta pee. I think this would definitely count as solicitation, I think. This is the game the bus driver money. Yeah. So he solicited clients for responses and asked questions. He was like, hmm. Not good. He talks to his boss about doing ads, which I understand why he's upset, but also you got a hundred new clients, 102. So I think it's fine. And of course the one that they ran was like sterile, not doing anything. And then he has uh, anticipation about how many calls he's gonna get. He does magic hand thing. He gets like whole line fills up. And then of course Mike subplot with the house. Which, what do you think is happening? I have no idea. Like with the shots so of maybe she's imagining it? Which is since he was there. Keeping the rent down. Uh, yeah. <laughs> she's doing it herself. Bah, bah, bah. It's funny because she's like, I was here and you weren't. Well, mm. well, I mean, <laughs> it, it, it was there the whole night. It's interesting where uh, now we're Nacho and him are going to go with this. If you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Peace.